What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have yet again another haul and today it's going to be on Primark. I have a huge bag right here that I picked up very recently in my local Primark. Now the last time I've done a Primark haul was definitely over two years if I'm not mistaken and I will link to that video in the info bar below or up here in the i button. And the reason why I don't shop in Primark all that much is because I feel like it lacks of something. If you really like a product, sometimes the quality is not really there. Granted, they are very affordable or for the most part they are affordable, but sometimes with affordability you compromise in a quality. But I picked up items that I feel like if I would have seen them in Zara, uh, Topshop or another store that I actually quite like that I would probably gravitate towards them and try them on. So I picked up a few things that I've not tried in the store. So today's going to be a try on haul and a first impressions. And we kind of got, we're kind of going to decide together if they work for me. So the first item that I want to show you guys is definitely one of my favorites. And I know for a fact I am keeping it. It's this black top over the shoulder or off the shoulder, better saying with an embroidery um, flower on the sleeves. I absolutely love tops like this. Um, I feel like the material of this top is really, really nice. It's not thin. It has a feel that it feels a little bit more expensive than it would be for Primark. And I only paid 12 pounds and it's in a size 16. So this top is definitely one of my favorites. I love the material, it's thick, it feels a lot more um, expensive than it actually was from Primark. The detail on the sleeves is absolutely amazing. I love the embroidery with the flower. It just makes it look a little bit more special. It's a little bit restrictive over here at the top. Like if I lift my arm, it's just gonna go up. As you guys can see, I'll have to keep pulling it down, but that's kind of like what happens when you wear um, off the shoulder tops. So the next top is this really gorgeous lace top, which I absolutely love. It's in pink. Um, I'm really into pinks and stuff like that this season. I love the sleeve detail. It kind of like flares. It's a very light type of material. It doesn't feel like it's super good quality compared to the one that I showed before, but granted it was only six pounds. And I think this is definitely in for this time of year right now. You can wear it dressed down or dressed up. I think it's a really pretty top. So I know I'm not wearing the right bra for this top, but I just wanted to try it on and let you guys see how it looks. I love the sleeves. They are very unique, very cute. I mean. Maybe unique is not the right word because there's a lot of tops at the moment out there that have this, but I find them special. It looks Hispanic, as I mentioned before, and I really like it. The only problem I have with this, as I mentioned before, when you buy affordable stuff, sometimes you compromise on the quality. I feel like the material feels quite cheap and it has a really strong scent of a synthetic scent I can't really explain it but maybe with a bit of a wash it will kind of like go away for six pounds you can't really go wrong once again I'm wearing it with my high-waisted jeans from Zara um, but you could wear this with a smart pair of trousers or a high-waisted um, I don't know skirt and I think it would look really girly and pretty my next top is a cobalt blue off the shoulder top it's absolutely gorgeous. And the detail, which really um, surprised me, amazed me, is this um, kind of like embroidery on the sleeves. It's really, really pretty. Embroidery is so big right now. Um, most stores that you go to, there's always a top or two or even t-shirts that have a lot of embroidery. And I really, really like it. Now this one cost me 10 pounds. I got everything that I'm showing in size 16 because it's definitely my size. It's very flowy, it's cotton, and yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this looks with a pair of jeans. So this is a really, really nice color top. Like cobalt blue is such a pretty shade that will complement any skin tone. And I find that this top is kind of like fun because it has embroidery on the sides. Um, and I really like it. Now, is it worth the 10 pounds? 
I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't feel as cheap as the one that I tried before. And I really like how it fits. It's kind of like flowy, more relaxing. This for a festival or a barbecue, like a family barbecue or a picnic, I think it would be a fun item to wear. This next top I'm not entirely sure about, but when I saw it, I still felt like it was a appropriate kind of like everyday uh, beach or barbecue type of top that you could wear for holiday, if that makes sense. And it's this um, stripy uh, white and I, w I don't know, I don't know if it's pink or coral, something like that. Uh, top with a really cute detail. It has buttons all the way down in the middle, but there's no opening. The buttons are just there as an accessory. It has a little bit of embroidery on the sleeves. Um, I feel like with this top, you can wear it off the shoulder or kind of like just hanging on the shoulder because of how it looks right here. And this one cost um, six pounds as well. So this top actually surprised me. I just had a look in the mirror and I actually really, really like how it looks with my jeans <laughs> that I'm wearing from Zara once again. I love the detail of the buttons. Um, it's very sweet. Um, and the top itself just feels kind of like very flowy, very fresh for those really warm days with a pair of jeans as I'm wearing right now or shorts or um, I don't know, just kind of like relax. This is a very relaxed and girly look. And please excuse the um, strings over here. I only cut them when I decide to keep a top. But for six pounds, I think the top is actually quite nice and I'm definitely keeping this one. My next item is a checkered shirt dress with a short sleeve, but the sleeve looks like that. It's kind of like detached from the dress itself. I find it really, really cute and interesting. It has buttons all the way down. And I remember seeing this type of dress. I don't know if it was um, Zara or another store sometime last year. And I thought it was really interesting. Not that I would wear something like this, but I thought it was nice. The quality is actually really nice. It's not like a flimsy type of material and it cost me 10 pounds. So this one, I'm not entirely sure. I actually feel like, I don't know, it's missing something. It doesn't really sit on me as nicely. Um, I think it would be maybe a fun item to wear for somebody who's a little bit younger, um, but for me, it just doesn't suit my style. It kind of like feels frumpy. It goes above my knee, so it's a little bit short. It's nice for a summer dress for sure, but not something that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis in spring, summer. I just don't think it's my style, so this one will definitely go back. This next dress, I definitely saw stuff like this in Zara last year, and I think this year they also have items in the same color, and it's this blue dress um, with kind of like a round top and I absolutely love the detail on the sleeves. It's uh, flared and I really, really like it. It doesn't look like something that you would find in Primark per se. I think this is something that you could definitely find in another store and it's really, really nice. I think my camera settings just changed a little bit and I do apologize if I look a little bit more yellow. Um, it has a bit of an opening here on the back and it's kind of like, I don't know, the material is cotton. There's no stretch to this material whatsoever. It retails for 13 pounds, so it's a little bit more expensive than any of the other items that I showed before. I'm kind of like curious to see how this looks. Okay, this one I am definitely not keeping just by looking at it, it does not suit me whatsoever. I love the sleeves, the sleeves are really, really cute but the dress itself just makes me look really big in this area. Like, I really don't like it. And the collar's really nice, but I find that this type of collar doesn't suit me either. Now, this is 13 pounds, very affordable. The quality is definitely there. I feel like the detail of the dress is really, really nicely done, but it's not my style. So this one is also going back. So Primark always has a really nice smart trousers that I never ever buy, but every time I pass by the racks, I always think, oh, I could wear those. And they're very similar to Zara and stuff like that. So I decided to pick up these ones right here. I'm trying to fix the belt so I can show you guys in this nude kind of like pastel color. It's like a really light pink and they are high-waisted. Like when I look at them from the side, you can see how 
high they are. And I love high-waisted trousers. And these retail for 15 pounds, but when I got to the till, they were only three. So I was like, okay. She even took the tag because she was like, no, it's impossible. They have to be 15 pounds. But when she used the barcode or the numbers that they have in the trousers themselves, they were only three pounds. I think they made a mistake, but a good mistake that made me buy it. So let's see how they look. So the trousers are kind of like a yes to stay. I like the material. It's thick and I like it. I like the material. I find them really, really nice. And as I mentioned, they are high waisted. I'm not entirely sure about this belt though. Um, please ignore the t-shirt that I have on. I would probably wear this with something completely different like a body. Um, something a little bit relaxed as well because I like the relaxed look on them. Um, but not this t-shirt. So please just ignore that. But the trousers itself, I think they look really, really nice. And I can definitely see myself wearing this to go to work. And for three pounds, gosh, these are definitely a thumbs up for me. So this next item, I fell in love when I saw it on the mannequin and I had to go and look for my size. Thank goodness they still had a lot. Maybe it's something new that they just um, kind of like came out with because usually in Primark, anything that it's nice, it goes really, really quick. And it's this, um, I would call this a Mac with no buttons. Let me move back a little bit so you guys can see. Um, it looks like this, obviously I will show it on. It has a little uh, detail on the waist that brings the um, blazer, blazer or Mac in. And I love it. I wish that they had it in a different color because I feel that this type of color gets dirty really quick. But very recently I gave my Mac to my stepmom because I wasn't really using it. And I feel like this will definitely replace that. Um, so I'm really excited. Hopefully it looks good. So I really like how this um, Mac, open Mac, I don't know because it has no buttons or a zipper, but I still feel like this is kind of like in the fields of Mac. I really, really like it. Um, I love the waterfalls kind of like over here or the way the lapels, is it lapels that you call it? Kind of like drape. And then this right over here that kind of like you can make it tighter. I really like this. this I mean, the detail of everything is so nice. This doesn't even look like it's Primark, I would say. And I just tucked in my t-shirt inside my trousers and I feel like with a pair of um, flats, uh, smart flats, high heels, or even a pair of all stars. This would look so smart and nice. I really like it. I can see myself wearing this a lot um, when the weather gets a little bit warmer. So definitely a keeper. Every haul I see on YouTube, somebody has a duster and I just find them so sophisticated. I mean, you can wear anything with a duster, trousers, uh, smart trousers or jeans, or a dress and it just makes the outfit look completely different. And I saw this one in Primark months ago, but I decided to pick it up now. And this is kind of like a um, dusty rose, um, pink rose or rose pink, <laughs> better saying. And it's really, really pretty. Now this comes in different colors. They have it in this shade, um, khaki green, black, and kind of like an off-white, which I didn't think it was that pretty. I love the details on the sleeves and it also comes with pockets and it's quite long. It goes um, below my knees and I'm five foot seven, just in case um, you guys are wondering. Um, it's 20 pounds, a size 16, and I'm so curious to see how this actually looks because I've been looking for a duster for ages. So here you have the duster on. I really like the way it falls. Um, the area over here, which I think it's lapels, I'm not too sure where the drapes, uh, please comment below so you guys can help me out because I'm describing products, I'm not entirely sure. But I really like it. It has pockets over here. Um, this is definitely a little bit lighter in texture than the one that I showed before. So it's definitely for those days that it's a lot warmer, um, maybe in the twenties or something like that because you don't want to feel cold. But I feel like it looks really nice. At first I thought, uh, when I saw it in the mat on the mannequin, I thought maybe this is going to look like a nightgown or something, but it looks really nice and I can definitely see myself wearing this. If I didn't mention the price from the one before, it was 25 pounds and this one is 20. I think they're actually good value for money for what they are. Um, and I'm quite surprised of how much I like it. So definitely a keeper. 
My last item that I want to share with you guys is a pair of loafers that look like this. Now I bought something so similar. If you've been following me for a while, you probably remember that I showed a similar pair of shoes like this from Zara last year. But I returned them because I thought, when will I wear them, which I regret right now because they were leather and they were only 25 pounds. Um, but yeah, I saw this on somebody at Primark and then I found them and I was like, yay, they look so nice. Now they are, of course, not made of leather, but they're very similar to the ones from Zara. And I love the sole because the sole looks like it's really good quality and well made and they were only eight pounds. I love the fact that you can wear them as a slipper, just like that, or as a regular shoe. Um, and the color is just so beautiful. I think this is perfect for now. So that is my Primark try on first impressions haul. I do hope that you guys found this video helpful, that you enjoyed it, of course. Give me a good thumbs up if you like videos such as this. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do. I do at least two to three videos every week. Um, at least on a weekend, I definitely upload a video. I do hope that you guys continue to enjoy my channel. I know I do a lot of beauty reviews and very recently I'm doing hauls, but I'm just kind of like getting into fashion a little bit more. I shop and I don't share usually. And I find that videos like this are so helpful because certain stores that you would never think that you would go in, if you see somebody doing a haul and trying the items on, you go like, yeah, I could wear something like that. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.